If you just found this video, welcome. Today, I'll be giving you these free mastering presets with only 5 filter plugins and I'll demonstrate how to tweak them to get the best results. This preset is compatible with all DAW, so be sure to watch until the end and I'll also explain how to use it in your DAW. I am using FL Studio, but I'll show you how to apply it in your preferred DAW. So stick around, subscribe, like the video and hit on the notification bell so that anytime I post, you'll get notified. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. It. yeah so i have this song we will be mastering this already mixed but not mastered so i'll be mastering from scratch and after that i'll give those presets to you i'll strictly use five filter plugins for that so be sure to watch along because there will be much lessons in this as you can see this is the song it's a reggae song but don't worry if you are mastering afrobeat or hip-hop it's the same process yeah you just follow the same process nothing changes let me play the song and show you one thing first before we get into the mastering process yeah all my life, I believe in justice. I'm gonna fight it. Strike, I'm Yeah, so as you can hear, the mix sounds clean and nice. We are hitting around 8 dB or 7 dB. We are not going much, so we need a headroom to master our song. So as you can see, it's around 7 dB and 5 dB. And also, before you master your song, please make sure your mix sounds clean and everything is intact because mastering won't solve your mixing problem for you if you think like your mixing sound bad but when ma when mastering it it will fix everything for you it will rather make it worse it will spoil everything for you so please be sure to get the right mix get the right balance before you start mastering your song now let's get right into the process so as i said i'll be using five filter for this so i will first load in my five filter pro q3 yes so this will be my five filter pro q3 which will be for my eqs and also i'll load my five filter compressor which is five filter pro c2 yes i'll also use that as my compressor and also five filter pro mb this one too will also be my multiband compressor and my five filter pro l which is my limiter from five filter so these are the plugins i'm going to use to master the song yeah so the five filter pro l i'll use the second version but for the pro l i'll use two because i don't want only one limiter to carry out the job i'll be using two limiters yeah so that i can split the limiting job into two limiters yeah, so these are the plugins we are going to use Five Filter Pro Q3, Pro C2, Pro MB, Pro L2, and another Pro L2. Let's listen to the song again and see where we can make adjustments in the EQ section and start. Yeah, all my life, I believe in me justice. If I'm a one semblance, you couldn't see I'm gonna fight it. Strike, I'm a strike, here I'm a bit in all your tactics. I send me and for me, who do, but why do you have to do this? Yeah, so upon listening, I noticed some issues that overall song needs some highs a little bit, not too much, and also the bass are too much. I think first thing I'll do is to cut my 30 hairs a little bit because those sounds around 30 hertz 20 hertz 10 hertz cannot be heard by your speaker so we need to cut them off using a brick wall over here as you can see and from 18 kilohertz and above too cannot be heard by your speakers or your ears so we need to cut those part two off so let's say 18 kilohertz yeah so i'm using a brick wall type of high cuts over here as you can see yeah so that it will strictly cut those parts this is the first technique i'm going to use on my eq and after that I'll do a little bit bell on my 12k side to bring out those highs a little bit because yeah, I think I, I need to bring some air in the song. Yeah, all my life I believe in me justice. If I'm a one semba, you couldn't see I'm gonna fight it. Strike, I'm a strike, here I'm a bit in all your tactics. I send me in for me. Yeah, so in mastering, you don't need to do much. I think 1.2 dB. For 1.2 dB is too much. So let me bring it to 1 dB. Yeah, because for mastering, you don't need to do much. Just little adjustments because this is the overall sound you are working on. So if you do drastic changes, it will change the tone and everything of your song. Yeah, so I think 1 dB over here is okay. And also, we have side and mix. So side means stereo, stereo and mid means mono. Yeah, that is the simplest explanation I can give to you. So we don't need those kind of stereo information on our bass side yeah so i'll split this eq into two which is the side and mid 
so as you can see we have the mid and side so put it in your head that the side means stereo and the mid means mono yeah that is the basic explanation i can give to you so i'll be cutting the side which is the stereo from the base side because we don't need much stereo information on the base side over here yeah so as you can see i set it to side you right click here and choose stereo placement and select split so i'll bring it i'll cut around 112 yeah so i'll cut up to 112 hertz because all this side i don't need the stereo information on that side yeah so after doing that i'll boost my high stereo information a little bit because i want my highs to shine a little bit so i'll bring those high information up so using this i'll use the side eq again over here so i'll split it to stereo information and side so i'll boost the stereo information of the side a little bit yeah yeah so i think one db on that part is okay so let's listen to how it sounds yeah. oh my life i believe in me justice yeah so this is a subtle change you know it's not that much change but if you are using a good headphone as mine or you are using a good monitor you can hear the difference for yourself because the, after all there is a mastering so we don't need to boost much just a little db will solve everything so i think th this is what i'm going to do on my eq after that i'll bring my multiband compressor over here so i'll be controlling my bass with this multiband compressor yeah so you know multiband compressor splits your frequencies into many parts so i will select this part which is the 100 hertz part and compress only the 100 hertz part yeah so let me solo that frequency and play the song yeah so i'll bring the range to negative 2 db yes because i don't want to compress much of it so i'll select the range to let's say negative 3 db is okay and i'll bring the release all the way down and increase the attack a little bit yeah because i don't want to smash the hell out of the base yeah i want to control it so i'll bring my attack a little bit up and my release a little bit down so let's compress it a little bit Strike I'm strike here and I beat in all your tactics. I tell me and for me who do but why do you have to do this? Do this. Why do you have to do this? Take off the pepper. One other thing in I am fat tat like get an answer. Me die die you my name. Yes, so as you can see the bass is a little bit controlled though bass is okay but if they are too much when your song is played in those big speakers the bass will overpower your vocals making you not be able to hear your vocals in those big speakers so always make sure you control your bass yeah so as you can see i am controlling my bass everything is controlled yeah so for now let's play our song with and without the pro mb and the pro q3 yeah. oh my life i believe in justice you pay me who i send by the currency i'm gonna fight it strike i'm a strike here and i'm beating all your tactics tell me and for me who do but why do you have to do this yeah so as i said the bass is controlled making the high shine a little bit in the mix yeah so if you control your bass automatically your highs will shine a little bit so i think that will be all for the pro mb as i said i will give this preset to you so if you want to make any changes you can do it later but for this one the mix was perfectly done so just some slight changes to it so now let's move on to our compressor this is the compressor for the compressor i will choose a preset from this mastering over here gentle left and right leveling so this is the preset i'm going to use over here so after you select this preset this is what will come so let me let me explain something small here the auto here i'll turn it off we are just mastering so if we set it to auto it will automatically bring up the gain for us we don't want that one so you will set it manually over here yeah so i'll bring it back to zero and also our ratio is okay because we won't be compressing it that much yeah and our attack is all the way up it's okay but what i'll do is i'll bring my release back like this yeah so now let's control our threshold yeah. oh my life i believe in me justice you pay me who i send by the currency i'm gonna fight it strike i'm a strike here and i'm beating all your tactics i tell me and for me yeah so as you can see i am getting 1.3 db of the gain reduction that will be all for the proceed to as you can see i'm getting about 1 db so i'll bring in the word gain to 1 db like this over here yeah. oh my life i believe in me justice you pay me who i send by the currency i'm that'll be all for the proceed too so now it's time for us to boost our sound 
But before I do that, I'll bring in this yawling meter over here. Because that yawling meter, I'll be using it to measure my LUFS, which will show me how loud my song is. So this, yeah. you oh my this LUFS will tell me how loud my song is. So the lower the number, the higher the sound. So for this, I will gain about negative 9 LUFS or negative 8 LUFS. So that is my target for this song. And that is the target for most commercial songs. Most commercial songs has negative 8 LUFS. Some has even negative 7 LUFS. So negative 7 LUFS will be much louder than negative 8 LUFS. Yeah, it depends on how you mix your song. So now let's start with our Pro L2. So for this, I'll increase my gain knob over here. Yeah. Oh my life, I believe in justice. If I'm in one semi new currency, I'm gonna fight it. Strike, I'm a strike here, I'm beating all your tactics. I send me and for me, who do, but why do you have to do this? Sick of my life, all my life, I believe in me justice. If I'm in one by the currency, I'm gonna fight this. Strike, I'm a strike here. Yeah, so as you can see, we are getting our volume we want. But one thing is, I won't be using this one limiter to get that volume. As you can see, 15 dB, we boosted it 15 dB to get our our volume we want. So I'll split this 15 dB into two. So it will be. 7.5 db my first limiter will have 7.5 db and my second limiter will have 7.5 db making it 15 db for us to get our volume we want because i don't want to use this one limiter to get the volume so for this i'll bring it back to 7.5 db over here yeah, and for this one too i'll give it the same settings over here and bring it 7.5 db so that i can split the job into two limiters yeah. oh my life i believe in me justice if i'm in one semi new currency i'm gonna fight it strike i'm a strike here i'm beating all your tactics i send me and for me who do but why do you have to do this yeah so i think that will be all for this video yeah so i'll save this preset for you as i said this preset can work in any DAO. let me show you how you can install this preset in the DAO you are using. Let's say you are using Cubase, but you want to use some of my presets over here. You will just open the Pro Q3 over here and come to default setting and come to options, open other presets. Yeah, so where you have your uh, preset saved, you can load it. So let's say it's in this part, you can't, you have to load it. So you load it and it will pop up over here same thing goes to the pro mb you come to this part options open other preset and where you have the preset saved you can load it from there so it's simple to use in any daw and also if you are using the fl studio too you can do the same thing yeah so thank you for watching this video once again i am raclos beats please make sure to subscribe to this channel hit on the notification bell like this video and if you have any question you can comment under the section. Thank you once again. Peace out.